Henry and Mudge in the Tall Tree House by Cynthia Ryland. Illustrated by Carolyn Bracken. Now on the title page, we see this is the 21st book of their adventures. Our book has four chapters in our table of contents. Chapter one is Uncle Jake. One day, Uncle Jake came to visit Henry and Henry's big dog, Mudge, and Henry's parents. Uncle Jake was very, very big. Henry's father called him Burly. What does Burly mean? Henry asked his father. Big, hairy, and plaid, said Henry's father. That was Uncle Jake. Henry liked Uncle Jake a lot. Mudge liked him even more. Mudge liked Uncle Jake because Uncle Jake wrestled. Mudge and Uncle Jake would get on the floor and wrestle and wrestle. Mudge always won. This time when Uncle Jake came to visit, he had something special in his truck. He had boards. What are the boards for, Uncle Jake? asked Henry. Uncle Jake gave a burly smile and said, Adventure. Really? said Henry. He liked adventure, especially with Mudge. Yep. I'm building you a tree house, said Uncle Jake. A tree house, said Henry. Wow. Henry loved tree houses. They were thrilling. They were exciting. They were in trees. Henry looked at Mudge. Mudge could run. Mudge could jump. Mudge could even dance a little. But Mudge for sure could not climb a tree. Uh-oh, thought Henry. He put his arm around Mudge and began to worry. Chapter 2, The Tree House Uncle Jake was so burly that he had the tree house built in two hours. He and Henry and Mudge stood beneath it. Uncle Jake was very proud. Henry was very worried. Mudge was just an itchy. Okay, Henry, it's all yours, said Uncle Jake. Go on up. Henry looked at Mudge. Henry did not want to go into the treehouse. He did not want adventure without Mudge, but he couldn't hurt Uncle Jake's feelings. He climbed up. He stood in the treehouse and looked around. It was thrilling. It was exciting. It was lonely. Thanks, Uncle Jake, Henry called. It's great. I'll take Mudge for a walk, said Uncle Jake. Have a ball. Henry watched Mudge leave with Uncle Jake. Mudge didn't want to go. Henry could tell because Mudge kept sitting down and yawning. Mudge always acted tired when he didn't want to go. Sleepy dog, Uncle Jake called with a smile. Finally, he got Mudge down the road, and Henry felt sadder than any boy with a new treehouse ever felt. Our next chapter is called Forgot Something. Henry sat in his treehouse for 14 minutes. Then he climbed down and went into the house. Uncle Jake was back. He and Henry's parents were playing cards. I forgot something, Henry told them. He ran upstairs. Mudge was on Henry's bed chewing a bone. Henry gave Mudge a big hug and kiss and ran back downstairs. He waved to his parents and Uncle Jake and then returned to his treehouse. He sat for 14 minutes. Then he climbed down and went into the house. Forgot something else, he called. He ran upstairs. He came back down. He returned to the treehouse for 14 more minutes. Then he climbed back down and went into the house. Forgot something. He did the same thing over and over, five times in a row. Finally, Henry's father met him at the door. Henry, what is it? asked Henry's father. Henry hung his head. I miss Mudge. Henry's father smiled. I thought you might, he said. So Uncle Jake and I came up with a plan. The next chapter is called Very Happy. Isn't this great, Mudge? asked Henry. They were sitting in the treehouse. They had comic books and cheese sandwiches. Mudge had some toys, a bear, an alligator, and a roly-poly snowman. They were very happy. A treehouse in a, in a tree was okay. But a treehouse in Henry's room was even better. It was thrilling. It was exciting. 
it had much.